Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. And I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so you're showing up as the Ace of Swords. So definitely seeing things clearly, maybe ready for this brand new beginning. Oh, yeah, and you're viewing your person as the Ace of Pentacles. But the connection as the Ten of Swords, okay. And your person is showing up as the hanged man in reverse, Pisces energy. They're viewing you as the king of cups and the connection, oh, as the six of cups in reverse. Okay. So some of you, it's a new beginning, fresh start with somebody, you know, that you're on the outs with, or you've had some sort of separation from, but you know what I'm getting? I kind of, I'm hearing like you both have had a really tough time in love. And I feel like you're both ready to move on together. That's the energy I'm getting. Um, there might be there might be a difficult ex or someone's past here that might be getting in the way um, with the emperor energy in reverse. Hmm. And we have the page of wands in reverse. This is, you know, I'm getting a really strong, very interesting message here, Scorpio. For a lot of you, this is somebody brand new. But there's some past baggage that's affecting this connection or maybe keeping them from taking a leap of faith or maybe keeping you from taking a leap of faith. We have strong Aries energy with the Fool and the Emperor coming through. So you could have Aries placements. Maybe they do. We also have really strong Pisces. So some of you might be dealing with an Aries Pisces cusp or somebody with Aries or Pisces in their chart. Now we have the Ace of Swords, Scorpio, this is your energy. So you're seeing very clearly, remember you are the most intuitive sign of the Zodiac. So you can trust your intuition. A lot of you, you're just seeing things very clearly, you know, because of that. Um, it looks like you're ready for a new beginning. You're ready for a fresh start. Yeah, maybe some of my Scorpios, okay, some of you, it might be your past baggage here, or maybe even an ex that, you know, that has really done some damage. And I'm seeing that with the emperor in reverse. Now it could be somebody you have children with. Um, it could be somebody who was quite abusive, whether that's verbally, physically, emotionally. Um, and I'm sending you lots of love and light and peace and ease for those of you that, that are still healing from that past situation. You have somebody new here. You absolutely have somebody new, somebody fresh. It feels super positive, to be honest. The ace of pentacles, you're seeing them as new. You're seeing them as you're seeing a lot of potential here, Scorpio, with this person and the five of pentacles. Yeah, you're seeing this person as your six of pentacles. So pretty much ticking all of your boxes, having what you're looking for, somebody who's balanced, somebody who brings you balance. Um, but you, you might know that your person is feeling a little bit disappointed, um, especially if I, I feel like some of my Scorpios, possibly there's something here that's been triggered. Um because of your past, you know, past relationships. So we need to really, we need to really take a look at that. Um, you're viewing the connection as the 10 of swords. So some of you, you might be really worried that it's over because of that. Um, for others of you, I, I feel like you're looking forward to uh, like a new cycle in love after a very painful ending, divorce or separation and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, there's, but I, I see here, Scorpio, and I'm reading it as your energy, and obviously it could be your person. So feel free to swap the energies I'm picking up on, but I'm going to stick to, you know, stick to this as your energy. There's a car, there's karma here that's affecting you moving forward here. Now, maybe some of you, you know, you need a divorce to be finalized and things were getting kind of nasty. So you had to, you know, cool off with this person. For others of you, there is a karmic situation that is holding you back or keeping you stuck. And the hanged man energy in reverse tells me your person has been holding back and it almost feels like they're ready to move forward. Um, this is somebody who's done a lot of spiritual work, a lot of healing work, somebody I do feel you can trust. Yeah. And the ace of cups, three aces coming out. This person has a lot of love for you, Scorpio. This person is someone who's going to hold space for you. 
um, because they want this to work. They're viewing you as the King of Cups. So they're viewing you as very focused and brave, also faithful, very intuitive. You know, even if you're not feeling balanced, they see you as somebody that can bring them a lot of balance or they see you as balanced despite everything that you may be experiencing or going through. Um, they know that you've had a tower moment or, you know, again, some of you, you might've, there might've been like some sort of bomb dropped by an ex, you know, like maybe they were, you know, they said they would, you know, go away nicely. And now they're like taking you to court or something like that. You know, it, it could be anything like that. Um, it could be about child custody. It really feels intense, Scorpio, whatever it is. Um, and with the star card in reverse, they know that you're unsure of the future. They know that you're dealing with whatever this tower moment is. And they're viewing the connection as being really affected by the past, something in the past that needs to be let go of. But this person hopes that it really can be let go of because they see the three of pentacles with you. They see moving forward. They see getting on the same page. All right. So we have the six of swords. This is about, there's a lot of potential for like a new beginning here with you two, um, with you two, you know, with you two being able to put the troubles of the past behind you, okay, and the knave of swords in reverse, but it is going to require some tough conversations, some authenticity, some truth. Some of my Scorpios, you haven't wanted to tell this person like the whole truth about what you've experienced. I, I do feel that I'm picking up on, you know, some, some trauma here in the past with either past relationships or one in particular. And, and it does feel like it's something that's not super easy to talk about. Um, or you're, you know, you may not be so sure that this person, how they'll receive this. Okay. But at the heart of the reading, we've got this emperor energy in reverse, somebody who's like very confrontational. I'm reading this emperor energy as somebody who's abusive. And again, it's not this person I'm picking up on. It's, it's in, it's in the past here. And we see the nine of swords and it causes a lot of problems. It causes a lot of imbalance and instability. Um, the nine of swords, it's definitely, um, it's definitely tough. And, and I, and it, I feel like it has you both in your feels, like your person might not fully understand everything that you're reacting to. Okay. But it's definitely something that's caused a lot of trouble or is causing a lot of trouble and drama still. And I feel like Scorpio, it's really something that may be keeping you from moving forward. Again, I'm going to make the disclaimer, you can swap this energy and, um, you know, and it could be your person, right? And so we see the page of wands in reverse and we see the two of swords, but you know, I see Scorpio, this person holding back and holding space for you. This is someone who has a lot of love for you to hold space, to deal with, to work through, to heal from whatever this is that you need to heal from. And we have more Pisces energy with the hanged man. So again, get ready for a new beginning. Strong Aries, Pisces energy coming through, or at least somebody might be a cusp. But this person is holding space for you. They want this to work. I feel like this is someone who's very kind, very loving, very compassionate. And, and there's so many aces. So there's a lot of potential here, Scorpio, with this person. All right, let's see. And yeah, this person, they, they're happy with you. They see happiness with you. Um, for some of you, it's like they can't wait to like for this third party situation or whatever this is to be healed or to be over. They might want to actually take you on a trip. You know, if you're going through like a bitter divorce or you're going through a nasty like child custody battle or something like that. Um, it's like this person, they're they know, they know that there's some sort of blockage here and most likely you've told them exactly what it is. Um, but they're, you know, they, they see happiness with you. This person's optimistic. This person's, I'm getting, they're like calm and they're patient and they're compassionate. All right. And yeah. So again, you need to have strong boundaries here. And, and I don't think it's with this new person. It's with the past. Um, and yeah, you will be transcending those obstacles get ready for union. It's certainly coming. Okay. Wow. So clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Scorpios regarding this new connection, this new cycle in love. This person's confident that you're going to make it, that you too will make it, that this connection is right for them. And you, and, and this person's very different than the past. They might be very different from you, but I'm getting that this person is so different from the past, Scorpio. And that can be hard to process, right? Especially if you were in a 
quite an abusive or, or unhappy or imbalanced situation, you know, it can be hard not to project that or it can be hard to trust again. Let's put it that way. Okay, so let's see. We've got um, distorted viewpoint. There's a need to take a step back and evaluate an incorrect, incorrect perception. Yeah, so I do feel the past here has definitely distorted this connection or this or the present here. Um, yeah, I actually think it's way better. Like I feel there's some serious trust issues here because of the past and that past energy has really distorted how we're viewing current situations. I feel like you've got somebody really good on your hands here and suspicion. You are encouraged to get to the heart of a matter to confront it or dismiss it. So it's about three of swords, doing that shadow work, looking at like really what's triggering you, what still needs to be healed. Okay. Um, because I'm getting, I, I, I'm getting very, very positive energy off of this new person, this new connection. All right. Anything else that my Scorpios need to know here, please? Yes, this is your soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. This is the energy I'm picking up on from this reading with this new person or this person that's holding space for you, that's confident that you can make it work. This person is unable to give you all you deserve, okay? And new love, yeah. And that's that past energy, this unavailable. This new person is available. A new love or recommitment is developing here. And it's important that you do the self-care and you do that shadow work because I see something really, really beautiful and balanced headed your way or already around you, Scorpio. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. And if these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.